Um, I think all of us are attracted to public management because we're looking for solutions. And Wendell Berry, the Kentucky farmer, poet, and writer, talks about three kinds of solutions. There are solutions that, unfortunately, deepen the problem they were meant to solve. Um, this is like, as a colleague of mine says, addressing global warming by getting a bigger air conditioner. Um, then there are solutions that um, cause more problems. The 1920s prohibition inadvertently led to the rise of organized crime. And then there's a third kind of solution. Uh, Wendell Berry calls it solving for pattern. And these are solutions that don't, I don't think I'm on anymore. Are you anticipating? <laughs> what, the third kind? Okay. Um, the third kind of solution, solving for pattern. And these are solutions that don't deepen the, pro that don't deepen the problem and they don't uh, make new problems. These are solutions that cause more solutions. At the Draper Richards Kaplan Foundation, we're looking for solutions that cause more solutions. And we do that by working with extraordinary social entrepreneurs. And I'd like to tell you about one. So we've all heard the alarming statistics around obesity and health. One in three American children are on track to get type 2 diabetes. And we as a country spend $147 billion a year on obesity-related illness. But Kurt Ellis, a social entrepreneur, had an insight. 32 million children in the United States eat school food. It's half their calories 180 days of the year. School is a terrific place to fight obesity. Kurt was inspired by a generation of Americans who had served in the Peace Corps and he and his team founded Food Corps. Young Americans pledge a year of service to work in low-income schools. For a year, they provide nutrition education, they build school gardens, and they bring healthy local foods to the cafeteria. Not only will these service members educate hundreds and thousands of low-income children, these service members will be our future leaders of health, and food. They will take that year of service and it will affect their decision making and they will make better decisions for it. These service members will be solutions that cause more solutions. I have one more story for you. I'd like to tell you about two young men who believe in the power of individuals to pull themselves out of poverty. Now, microfinance was not a new concept when Matt Flannery, then working at TiVo, and Premal Shaw, then at PayPal, left their jobs to start a venture. But Matt and Premal used their engineering skills to build the first retail micro-lending platform, and they call it Kiva. Now, you or I or anyone with an internet connection can, give as little as can lend as little as $25 to an entrepreneur starting a business a farmer who needs seed and fertilizer, or a student needing a school loan. Today, Kiva has 630,000 lenders who have lent $250 million to entrepreneurs in 60 countries. These lenders and these entrepreneurs are solutions that cause more solutions. Now, we have lots of examples of other organizations that we've funded extraordinary entrepreneurs, we find these leaders early, we provide them seed stage funding and assistance, we're like a venture capital firm for good. And I think we can all be venture capitalists for good. When you approach a decision in your business or your community or your philanthropy, look carefully at the problems, scan available solutions, and see the patterns solve for patterns and cause solutions make solutions that cause more solutions thank you